And it's not power outages, but a water issue that has been causing a problem at one apartment complex in Charlotte. They've been without water for about three days now. Residents there told us a pipe burst, leaving apartments and hallways with water damage. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger talked to families there about what they've been doing to get by. Signs posted on the doors of the 2627 building read in part, the water will be out until Tuesday at the earliest. And residents here tell me that there are now three buildings without water. Filling up at an outdoor faucet is just about the best some residents at the mezzanine apartments can do. I'm not sure of exactly what happened. We wasn't home and we got a phone call saying that it was flooding. And when we got here, it was just water just pouring everywhere. Shantae Steele says her apartment was damaged Saturday by water pouring out of her light fixtures and ceiling. She says her property managers told her a sprinkler had burst. We're on fire watch because the sprinkler system is not working. And I don't know who's doing the fire watch because nobody's at the office. No showers, no flushing toilets, no drinking water. A major health and safety hazard, especially when you have trouble getting around. So the gentleman gave me a couple of bottles of water. Yeah, so, so I have neuropathy in my feet. And uh, plus, I have prostate cancer, so uh, you know, I'm on medication. We tried calling and emailing the property managers ourselves, hoping to ask why it would take at least four days to get the water flowing again. But emergency phone for Typo La Crossing, Mezzanine, and the Mulberry is not available. To no avail. I'm very frustrated because this I've been here for a month, and this is my first Christmas that we could have celebrated together, all of us. And I'm very frustrated and sad because this, we couldn't do anything. Frustrated neighbors becoming desperate. What was supposed to be the jolliest time of the year has been anything but. I feel as if that could have been taken care of when it happened. You know, like, a, you know, I, I know it's more than one plumber in this, <laughs> in Charlotte, and like I said, they could have subcontract this work out to another individual to get it get it done. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.